Let's start with this. So, Logan Paul put out this statement today. Basically saying, it's time, I'm finally doing that refund that I pledged like a year ago. It, it's, it's go time, baby. Your prayers have been answered, St. Logan is here. And since there's so many people who've been vocal about him being a scammer, me being one of them, a lot of people took this and immediately started attacking me going, Charlie, you feel bad yet? You called this guy a scammer, but look at what he's doing. He's the good guy. And it's like, brother, get off the stupid juice. He is literally paying people back for a scam he ran. He's not the good guy. He's doing the bare minimum. And it actually, it's kind of deep. So, I'll just read through most of this here before getting into the nitty gritty, because there's a lot more than meets the eye. Also, the timing couldn't have been worse because just yesterday, that clip of me talking about how Logan Paul will never pay anyone back got posted on the second channel. So less than 24 hours later, he comes around and he's like, take this, Charlie. <laughs> Here it is. But let me make this clear. Anyone who gets paid back through this, it is a good thing. But there are some strings attached. Let's go through it. Today I'm incredibly happy to announce that I am delivering on my promise to buy back base egg and base animal crypto zoo NFTs for their original purchase price. This buyback program is being carried out at eggnftbuyback.com. Claims, claims can be submitted through this site through February 8th. And then he explains about crypto zoo and its uh, original vision, which fucking flopped, floundered, and it was a huge, messy explosion of dog shit. Watch CoffeeZilla's series on it. It explains everything really well. Logan continues to fall back on, he was, he's basically blameless. It was all everybody else. He's, you know, the misunderstood hero of the story. It's all bad actors, and he's going to take a real st uh, stand against them. Now, in CoffeeZilla's video, Logan, if I remember correctly, didn't take money from it the same way that the other people did, but it's, he's not blameless. <laughs> he is far from it. But anyway... He goes into his hardline stance. I have filed a lawsuit in federal court in Texas to hold the bad actors accountable. It's a 25-page lawsuit. Public can be found here. It's not based just on the snippets of conversation taken out of context. This lawsuit is the result of an exhaustive investigation that included the review of the entirety of conversations tracking nefarious trading activity related to the project and nefarious trading activity taken behind our backs without our knowledge and with the intention of defrauding us all. As for the game itself, unfortunately, it will not be released. Shocker. I personally spent 400 grand to have it developed and after its completion in early 2023 and some further diligence, unfortunately there are too many regulatory hurdles that would need to be cleared that I did not originally understand and would ultimately delay this buyback even further. E3, you know, we were all so hyped for CryptoZoo to come out and now it's not, it's not coming. This buyback is a way for me to make whole those who intended to play CryptoZoo. The buyback is not intended to compensate those who gambled on the crypto market and lost. So when I first read that, this was a massive red flag and it makes me believe a lot of people didn't even get this far. Because that is so fucked up. He's basically victim blaming them like, oh, Hey, if you guys gambled on this, that's like your fault. Like, I can't control your stupid investment ideas. Just because I may have led you to believe it's a great idea... Doesn't mean it's, like, my fault, you're stupid, you gambled, and you lost, loser. That's a really bold thing to say. Especially when, like, behind the scenes, this was very clearly designed to be an investment vehicle. It's important to remember that the Zoo token was created to support Crypto Zoo game and its players. It was not intended as an investment vehicle, as outlined in the white paper. Bunch of baloney. Actual fucking horseradish. But, he is issuing refunds to a certain extent that's a w as long as the victims get their money back that's really all that matters at the end of the day now i didn't go here i didn't look at it but others did so attorney tom who is the one involved in the lawsuit that logan paul's actively engaged in he represents a lot of the victims he was excited by this until he got into the more fine print of what this means so if you go through this buyback and, and you're one of the victims you waive your right <laughs> to go after him anymore. So he's covering his own ass through this. So it's not exactly, you know, the cleanest no strings attached protocol. It's a it's a little it's got a little mud on the boots here. There's a there's a little stink to this shit. And that's something CoffeeZilla also called out. He said, making a video on the Logan Paul situation, super happy some of the victims will get refunded a year later, but let's not pretend there isn't ulterior motives. Logan is being crushed in a lawsuit right now, referring to this one, I believe. 
As usual, he's trying to save his own skin. And then he highlights what I mentioned about waiving any actual or anticipated claims against Logan Paul. So you can get your refund, but you're not having your cake and eating it too. You can no longer come after him for getting scammed. And you're not... I I highly recommend watching Attorney Tom's video. I'm not going to play it in its entirety or anything. But you're not getting all of your money back per se. And that's something Attorney Tom explains. You are getting some of your money back. Like, it is a refund to a certain extent, but it's not like this all-encompassing refund that I think a lot of people were expecting. Imagine trusting Logan Paul. Well, it's not not even a matter of trust. Like, he pledged that he was going to be giving refunds, and he is, to his credit, giving money back. Just not the cleanest way of doing so, I would say. Thanks to Prime Scoob. There was definitely a better way of doing it. Definitely should have been sooner as well. But at least if the victims are happy, then that's that's what matters at the end of the day. How many people even like played this? Zero, because the game was a non-functional pile of trash. Why did KSI say what will haters say now? People are haters because they want their money back from a scam. Yeah, that was a really weird tweet. I was super shocked to see that too. It's not like. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a response to that, but it's it's not like people are just blindly hating on Logan. He scammed his audience in a huge way, and they're like, can we get our money back that you promised us, please? Like, fucking groveling at his feet, because so many people lost so much money. It's not just, like, blindly hating on him because they don't like his, you know, signature move in the WWE or something. It's a very legitimate reason to not like Logan Paul. So that was a very odd tweet from KSI, for sure, about this thing. As I mentioned, CoffeeZilla stated that he'll be making a new video on the Logan Paul situation with this new update. So you already know I'm going to be glued to that like a child to their iPad while waiting for their mother to finish her hair appointment. I will be keeping my finger on the pulse there to see what he talks about in regards to this. Personally, I think that Logan Paul could have done more quicker. I think it's a little scummy to only recoup a portion of the people that he scammed. I, I, I know it's good overall because he is giving some of the money back, but as Attorney Tom mentioned in his video, it's not going to be the whole kit and caboodle, it's only a portion of it, and then he kind of blames them for the rest of their losses they may have incurred from this, even though it is Logan Paul's fault. He led them down that path, so I really feel it should have been his responsibility to make them whole again. And by giving them their refund, waiving their rights to go after him, I think is, again, just a covering your own ass thing, which isn't surprising given Logan Paul's reputation. But I just, I think it could have been done much better. I am still happy that at least some of the money is going back to the victims here. I know that'll be extremely helpful to a lot of them. I just wish it was more and better because it is, again, his fault entirely. And he has the means to do so. He is now... At the forefront of the WWE, he is a superstar, and he now owns a multi-billion dollar company with Prime. He could absolutely afford to correct this mistake that he made and finally do right by the people that he wronged. But again, just to reiterate, I am thrilled that he is giving some money back to the victims of his CryptoZoo scam. It took a very long time, but as the old saying goes, better extremely late Very super duper late. Way tardy than never. So that's a good thing. So yeah, I just wanted to give you the little surprising update to this crypto zoo story. So yeah, that's really about it. See ya.